Good evening and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing the 450 RL versus the KTM 500. Very similar bikes. The 450 is newer, my bike's a little bit older. It's very similar price difference. This one has an ECU, mine has an ECU, so they're kind of fair there. The 500 has an FMF pipe on it, so that is probably the only little bit of advantage that the 500 has over the 450 RL. Let's get into these bikes, let's dissect them and see how they compare. So the 450 RL comes in around $10,000 and the 500 comes in around $13,000. So the 500 is a little bit more expensive. So let's see what extra features you get for the extra three grand when you buy the 500. So on the 450 RL you get this nice display. It's a little bit bigger than the 500s. We come over here and take a look at the 500 display. It's almost a little bit cheaper, to be honest. I could turn this on. See, it's like, it's almost a little bit cheaper. It's almost a little bit smaller. It just seems a little bit like outdated compared to this one. Well, what year is yours, John? 19? What is it? 22. 22? Oh, it's newer than I thought. So this one's a 22 and mine's a 17. So I don't know if they changed that. I don't know if they changed that or not, but whatever. <laughs> an 18 inch rear tire. My bike, I think you get an 18 inch tire as well. Yeah, you get an 18, so they're same rear tires. Same rear tires, dual sport setups. The 500 has been around for, I don't know when, did, maybe I should look up when they started making the 500. <laughs> we did no research before <laughs> no, this. No research whatsoever. I don't know, the 500 has been around for probably 10 plus years and they just started making the 450 RL in 2019. And Honda's never really had anything kind of like this before. So this is their new take on the 450 RL, or on the dual sport, on the dual sport setting. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of an off-road test. We're gonna do the 500 first, and then since I haven't ridden the 450 RL yet, I'm gonna take the 450 RL out and see how it does off-road compared to the 500. See if it's nicer, see how the suspension acts, see how different they are off-road. Try this thing out. I haven't ridden there yet. Let me see how this thing does. All right, so right off the bat, this thing feels a little bit stiffer than the 500. John, get on mine and see if it's stiffer, you think. I think it's stiffer. I mean, the KTM is all adjustable. I think you can adjust this one too. It feels like almost the same or just stiffer. Really? I think that this one feels stiffer. I don't know. All right, let's try it in the woods. Like you have to use a little bit more of your wrist when, when you're riding the 500. And it does feel lighter. It feels a little bit lighter than the 500. The 500 almost feels more beefy, if that makes any sense. The freaking 450's throttle is so much more easy to pull back. Yeah, and the, he, uh, there's a throttle tamer on it. That's the only other thing that's on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering. And it feels more nimbler. Like, it doesn't feel as beefy as my dude, bike so to go around the road. Dude, I, I didn't even hear you coming until you were, like, right at the rock right there, <laughs> jumping over it. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, the 500 feels a little bit more beefier. Maybe try, try mine out and see. What, like, less torque? Like, just bigger. Mine feels bigger to move around the woods. Yeah. I think yours is lighter. I want, I want to check on that and make sure. I don't think so. And see. I think yours is a little bit lighter. Mine feels more like a Harley Davidson in the woods. Try mine and see what you think. I want to get a second opinion. I don't know, dude. They're so similar. It's hard to like pinpoint exactly the differences on them. What? Yeah, I have bar risers on. The bars are like way higher, so it feels way different. The bars are, the bar risers are on it. Yeah, it feels like, I don't know. It feels like you're up more high you know what I mean? yeah because of the bar risers you know what i don't like about the bike though the fucking kickstand has fucking killed my shin like twice now like a razor scooter <laughs> i'll go to kick it or something and it'll just spring right back it. up i think i was probably standing like this like an idiot and just kicked it and it just like caught or something and killed my other shin <laughs> like i like if you don't let it up all the way with your foot like that 
then you just have this thing. Fucking, oh Jesus, that's know? like a deadly weapon. I know. Well, freaking, what did you notice like riding them? What do you think is the difference on them? They don't feel that different. This one feels like it has more torque though. It's, yeah, it's more torque on like the low end power. It has a lot more low end power than yours. Cause like if you're just putting it and you crack the throttle, it's like, it's immediate. Yeah. Whereas yours is almost like a carbureted bike still. Yeah. It feels like yours is still carbureted. Mine's tougher to ride on the road definitely than yours. Yours would be a lot easier to ride. I'm sure your gears are longer. I'm sure more. it's more of like a road unit. Yours is a six speed, right? Or five? Six. Yours is six? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's get down to the drag strip and see which one's faster. I'm the third horn to go. Wow. I'm gonna go eh, eh, eh. Oh, okay, looks like my horn doesn't work anymore. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there it goes. Okay, ready? There we go. Now it doesn't wanna work again. It came out of eating rocks and I was like I'm not even gonna try now. <laughs> we should probably do a best two out of three here and then do it on the road. It was sketchy though with three bikes lined up too. <laughs> How's this guy so clean right now? <laughs> I know where the phone this guy guy this guy rides so fast that the mud just flies off him. <laughs> wiped out. I thought he was about to run into me. I thought he was coming right at me. He got so squirrely. Did you see him? <laughs> they have jumped again a little bit. I thought you were going to die. I thought you were coming at I know, me. I couldn't even fucking keep it straight up. Dude. <laughs> going all over. I thought you were coming at me. I got scared. <laughs> I thought you were either going into the I woods or at me. Or You're just doing a massive rolling burnout the whole time. <laughs> and then you started spraying me there with the rocks, and I'm like, oh, I'm done. No. I'm done. Yeah, it's, yeah that's when it's game time. over. Thank you all for watching the video. In conclusion, the KTM 500 makes a little bit more power than the CRF 450 RL, but it is $3,000 more expensive than the 450. So, I mean, I am a diehard KTM fan, but you can't go wrong with the CRF 450L. 
it, they're basically the same bike, just different manufacturers. One's red, one's orange. If I was looking to buy them one brand new, I would definitely pick the 450 RL. Just because it's $3,000 cheaper than the 500. But thank you all for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. Leave me a comment down below. I always read all of them. And always remember to keep on rolling.